Okay, so now let's read Dora and Friends. Welcome to Fairy World. One starry evening, Dora and her friends gather around the campfire to make s'more. A treat made of graham cracker, roasted marshmallow, and melted chocolate. Lana had never had s'more and she was excited to try one. But when Pablo opened the marshmallow bag, he saw that all the marshmallow were gone. Imara, cried Alana, Firefly were carrying the marshmallow away. Kate and Emma stay at the campsite. Everyone else chased the, the firefly into a magical forest where they turned into fairies. Let's follow the fairies and get our marshmallow back, said Dora. She and her friends follow the fairies into a cave. Inside the cave, Pablo used a net to catch one of the fairy. Will you help us find the other fairies so we can get our marshmallows, he asked. The fairy nodded. I promise. The fairy introduced herself as Pine Nut. She led Dora and her friends to the top of a mountain where other fairies were throwing the marshmallow to a hungry dragon. The dragon was roasting the marshmallow with his fierce breath and gobbling them up. Pine Nut said that the dragon protected the fairies from the goblin called Los Duendes, who tried to stop them from granting wishes. In return, the fairy fed the dragon. El dragon only eat marshmallow, explained Pine Nut. Dora shook her head. It's not good for him to eat only marshmallow, but he loved them, said Pine Nut. Just then, three dark shapes appeared in the sky. Lost duendes were coming. The dragon tried to get up, but he could only groan. He had a tummy ache. We need to get him some good, nutritious food, declared Dora. Irapido! The friends raced to the fairy's garden, which was full of fruits, vegetables, and nuts, as well as sweets. Should we bring El Dragon candied nut or fruit and plain nuts? asked Dora. Fruit and plain nuts, cried Alana and Naya. Caramel apple or pineapple? asked Alana. Pineapple, cheered Naya. Pablo scratched his head. Bubblegum or banana? He smiled. Banana. The friends collected the healthy food and rest back to the dragon. The friends wanted to feed the dragon healthy food, but he was full of all the marshmallow. We've got to get the dragon moving so he can build up his appetite, said Dora. Alana knew the perfect workout. Flap your arm like a dragon, she said. Stomp your feet with a dragon storm and wiggle your dragon belly. After that, El Dragon felt better and he was hungry again. Then the friend fed the dragons nutritious food from the fairy garden. Then Pablo fed the dragon beans to help him build muscle. Now the dragon was ready to take on Eos Duendes. With a roar, the dragon rose. Using the mighty dragon strength he'd gotten from all the healthy food and exercise, he chased Yos Dundes away. Pine Nut flew up to Dora and her friend. Thank you for helping us. Now we can get back to granting wishes, she smiled. If you would like to make a wish, we can make it come true. I know what I want to wish for, Alana said. The friends all closed their eyes and made a wish. When they opened their eyes, they were back at the campfire. Alana had a s'more in her hand. It's just what I wish for, she said happily. While she ate it, she got an idea. A few minutes later, Alana presented her friend with a new dessert. 
they are small, except with fruit. I call them smooth. The friend laughs as they share Alana delicious new treat. That is the end.